So we're in the Brecon Beacons. That over there is a beacon. That next to it is a beacon. That one there's a beacon. Probably all beacons. And we're gonna go on the water. Not quite sure what, kayaking, canoeing. You wanna do a canoe so you don't get wet? Lol. And Jamie's about to tell us what we can and can't do. So, we, they've got rowing boats, they've got canoes, they've got stand-up paddle boards. But yeah, the possibilities are endless. So they're the three possibilities. <laughs> 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 So we've been working too hard. It's time to have some fun. Yeah! <laughs> fun in the sun. In Wales. It's hard work rowing this boat. <laughs> That's why I'm taking regular breaks. <laughs> <laughs> and by regular, he of course means continuous. <laughs> Right now you look like a like a cross between a saint and a beef eater. You've got like halo, but it's a beef eater halo. Hey Sarah, look epic. Yeah. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> Surprisingly, that's still not the worst response I've got to that challenge. Look epic. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. Hello and welcome to Undercover Dross. My name is Michael Cycles, but this week I'll be going undercover as Angus McFarmerson. Hello there, my lover. As I target the Royal Welsh Show. Each year, the show draws in around a quarter of a million guests with attractions like sheep shearing and pig watching. That one's asleep. That one's asleep. That one's asleep. Today, I'll be answering the question on everybody's lips. Why would anyone want to see that? Let's go. So I started off at the pony racing, where it quickly became apparent that I wasn't the only one who was a little bit confused. I don't know, I don't know, the judges are going to have to call that down the line. So I'm not sure who's in the lead here. It's all kinds of carnage at the moment. All its carnage in this game, that's what I was getting confused. And I'm not really sure who's in the lead. It's carnage out there, it's <laughs> just a rainbow of colours. After looking through a room full of creepy nursery rhymes, and seeing some giant vegetables, look at the size of these sprouts.
something entirely inexplicable happened. Today, we celebrate the 100th Royal Welsh Show. Through two world wars and over a hundred years of dramatic change, the Royal Welsh Show still stands. Through the grit and determination of the people. Right, you are! This excited since Farmville came out on Facebook. I'm so lost, I don't know what's going on, I don't know where I am, but I'm loving life as a farmer. So today I'm heading to the mysterious forest of Puzzlewood, uh, which apparently is the inspiration behind Mirkwood in Lord of the Rings. Um, so it should be quite a, a cool place. Shut. Hello? It was made by those who are dead, and the dead keep it. If there's anyone here, it's not funny anymore. The way is shut. I do not fear death. I do? I'm getting out of here. So about half an hour ago, I was running into quite a lot of people and you know, we're all joking and saying, oh, where's the exit? Oh, it all looks a bit familiar. Um, now there's only like half a dozen of us left and I still don't know where the exit is. So it's becoming a bit of an issue.
And so it was with great relief that I continued my journey through some of the most typically British places in the entire country. The Cotswolds, Oxford, and on to Cambridge. Congratulations to Ben Grundy, who has won the top prize of, of nothing for the second time. With his caption, Michael is told that Boris Johnson is the new Prime Minister. Here's this week's photograph, and as always, please do leave your captions in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good week. Oh, and I forgot to say my catchphrase at the start. Hello friends. Goodbye friends. <laughs>